What is going on guys, it is a Shame and we are back with another wager episode where I play YouTubers and subscribers in wager matches and next up we have the highest wager match yet, a 100k wager match against my opponent who I played last episode, Skills Pay Bills and that was his team, last episode we actually beat him in a 40k wager match and he came back a few hours later with this offer of 100k and I could not turn it down after winning the first game, I thought you know I gotta accept this and try and win the 100k off him and straight away we get a good shot off there but the keeper does save it quite Quite comfortably. Next up though, Marcus Jr. there, nearly loses the ball but still manages to get control over there, looks for the cross, can't really see one, so he ends up losing the ball there but luckily win it back, he gets a shot off and the keeper saves it once again but we are creating a few chances here. But then once again he gets his opportunity there to Podolski, Podolski's got a beast of a left foot but unfortunately he's on the wrong foot there and the keeper does save that opportunity. So both of us having a few chances there, both looking quite tense and I really wanted to make sure I got the first goal this match and Neto Barola gets me that goal perfectly, got that one goal advantage looking great and of course he is also locked in as well so no worries about that at all and uh once again guys if you, if you have any threats about playing me then simply just do not play me but i promise you guys as you'll see in these episodes i always play with age matches if i lose and there you are guys, once again, Marcus Jr. steps up, making that 2-0 to us, looking great, that 2 goal advantage, 100k at stake, things could not look at, things just couldn't be any worse for us, uh, things couldn't be any better for us at the moment, just living a dream, and once again, his keep had an absolute shocker there, and just parries that into the back of the net, we win this match 3-0, very unlucky for him, but we're going to take that 100k, and I'm sure he'll come back for some more wager matches later, so, my highest wager stake there has been won, and we do get the 100k reward, but next up guys, we played someone called Andre M99, and uh, this is a 25k wager match here, guys. And uh, as you see, we just got our kits already, and there was actually red latency. Not sure if you saw that, but you know, usually I think you know I just go over it anyway, because usually setting up a wager match is actually quite a lot of effort. And by the time I get that far, I don't really want to just cancel the match. So usually I just play over it, or whatever the connection is. But that was one of the biggest mistakes I've done so far in this series. This was such a hard, such a hard game to play with. I'm sure he, he would also back up on this. The game was very very laggy but no, I'm not going to take anything away from this guy he was a beast of a player one of the best opponents I played and he messaged me say something like he's played with his team about 60 games in a row without losing so uh, an absolute beast of a player as you can see that alone is a great start no matter what team you have so fair play to him for doing that and as soon, if, if I knew that before the game maybe I'd have a second thoughts about doing a wage match but uh, you know at the moment it's a one all there so still, like, still looking fairly decent but he scores that goal there with Carlos Eduardo and then I go 2-1 down and I knew that this guy was a strong opponent and I knew that the, that the the connection was awful, it really wasn't looking good for me. He also gets a penalty later on there with Wellerton, and Wellerton knows exactly where he's going to put that, and he, uh, he does score it quite comfortably there, top left, right under the crossbar. I should have died for it, but he always, always seemed to miss him in wager matches at the moment, always seems to go the wrong way. And then I get my penalty and I miss mine, just my luck, that proves how this game is going. And you know exactly where this ball's going now, guys, McGeady gets hold of it, gives it to MNEK, back to Eduardo, back to MNEK, he's got the pace. Nemanike is a beast of a player, bought my keeper out, kind of got fed up, he uh, just gets an easy, uh, easy sweaty goal there, making that 4-1, so he wins the game, and what I do here guys, I actually, uh, I don't know if you ever had this, but my tea was like on the table, and I, I was 4-1, and I just kind of fed, got fed up, I just quit, so get shamed on me for quitting there, but you know guys, it was an awful connection, I wasn't going to get back in the game, I thought it just made sense to both of us to hurry up the game, and of course I quit, and I'm not going to be one of those idiots that didn't start making up excuses, I quit, paid him straight away, and it was all sorted, and as you see there, we do lose 25k, but that's not too bad, guys. We won 100k the game before, so I wasn't too bothered at all. But that is the end of the episode, guys. There'll be another one out shortly. And as you see, current earners 595k.